Hi, hello one. Now this video is completely different than what I normally make because normally I make videos about video games and nerdy shit and all that, but I, I, I just wanted to make this video. Like, you know, I'm recording this very early actually, like, like at 7.27 in the morning because it just popped in my head and I was like, you know what? I want to make this video. You know, I want to make this video and I want to talk about it. And, you know, it, this is not what I normally make and I'm probably not going to make another video like this. But, I, you know, I just wanted to make a video about it. So, basically, this video is for, you know, the guys out there that nobody cares about. You know, that nobody cares about, that nobody uh, notices, that, uh, you know, no, nobody knows your name. Nobody cares uh, about you. No one cares about what you like. Like, you know, the, you know, the, the, the guy that, you know, you know, when you you were doing school projects and you had to group up and all that, you were picked last because nobody cared about you. Uh, you know, the, the guy that has never had a girlfriend, the guy who uh, has never even kissed a girl, a guy that, you know, you were never invited to stuff. You, you, you know, you, you heard afterwards that, hey, this big thing happened and you're like, why weren't I invited? E even by your... Like, the people that you thought were your friends, they didn't invite you. So, you know, th this video goes out to that guy. You know, the guy that nobody cares about. That, you know, no, no one cares about. No one knows your name. Nobody cares. You know, you walk in, nothing happens. You know, you, you walk into a room and everyone's just like, okay, who cares? Like, you know, they, they, don't, they don't even notice. So, you know, th this video goes to that guy. And ba basically... I'm just, this video just saying, it's okay. You know, it's okay, and you'll make it through it. And, and, and frankly, this video is honestly kind of for myself, really, more than anything. But, you know, I, I just wanted to come out and say, it. it's like, you know, life is hard. You know, life is hard, life is awful, but, you know, you'll make it through it. You know, you make it through it. And honestly, like I, I can't really give any, like really anything that would most likely help you. But probably everything I'm saying right now in this video isn't gonna help at all. Like you, if you even watch this, you'll probably be like, okay, thanks for nothing, asshole, and then you would exit the video. But really, but like in my opinion, really the only thing you can do is just keep moving. You know, wake up and just tell yourself, you know, just take a deep breath and just tell yourself just another day. You know, just another day. Get up, take a deep breath, just another day, and you keep moving. And because that, that's all you can do. You know, that that's all you can do. And, like, I, I feel like, you know, I, I, I don't think, I, I think actually the biggest problem is... Like, you know, bring up the red pill people. Like, like you, know, you know, like, red pill and, like, the manosphere is supposed to be about this, you know, this whole thing about, uh, you know, pe people caring about the little guy. Like, you know, being like, oh, like, uh, I'm here to help you, you know, the guy that has had no luck and, uh, but no one cares about. But tru truthfully, I don't think red pill is like that. Like, I, I, I seriously don't think red pill is like that because... Honestly, in my opinion, most of the guys in that are in the red pill, they don't give a crap about, you know, people like me or like people like you. You know, pe people that no one cares about. The, the, the invisible guy. You know, e even on these like big podcasts like Fet Fresh and Fit and like the whatever podcast, it's like, you know, they don't get, you know, they, they get these like really buff and, you know, really attractive guys that, you know, women all notice that everybody notices. You know, they, they don't get the normal guy who, you know, the normal normal average guy who's like, you know, a janitor somewhere. You know, they, they don't get that guy because they don't care about that guy. And in fact, frankly, in my opinion, most of, uh, you know, the red pill people like Andrew Tate, for example, he, he doesn't give a crap about you. Like, you know, I know somebody like me, he doesn't care. He, he, he actually probably thinks I'm a loser. Like he, he would most likely call me a loser. And honestly... I don't care what he has to say. 
Like, I, I, I don't care what Andrew Tate has to say. To, to me, Andrew Tate doesn't really uh, say, like, anything that would be helpful. But, like, this is not a video about him. But yeah, I feel like that's the case with most red pill guys. But I mean, you know, they they would consider you know me and you know any other invisible guy that no one cares about a loser. Because truth is, you know, nobody focuses on them. And yeah, yeah, I I feel like you know conservatives in general, like you know conservatives and right right leaning people in general. Like, they, they always, you know, they always say the same thing. You know, they, they are like, oh, it, like, man, if you're lonely, just go out there. You know, go out there. Go uh, meet a woman. It's not that hard. And it's like, okay, you're saying this to somebody who, you know, his entire life, he's invisible. Nobody cares about him. Like, he, he may have had one or two friends that he talked to. And even then, it was only in school. Or it was only at work. Like, he, he's never actually hung out with people outside of work or school because nobody invited him. And when he asks, he, when he's like, hey, I want to hang out, everybody's, like, people don't answer. People don't answer or people are like, no. So, and, you know, th their idea is, you know, I'll just go out there. It's easy. You can do it. Not realizing the fact that, you know, some of the people they're talking to who, like, you know, Nowadays, I know they're talking a lot about, you know, the lonely single men and all that. Like, I feel like conservatives aren't thinking about the fact that, you know, when... Their solution is just, hey, just go out there. It's easy. Like, you just have to have the balls to do it. They aren't thinking of the fact that, hey, maybe this guy, no one cared about. I mean, you know, no one cares about him. Like, he literally has nothing. Like, honestly, out of all the red pill people and like honestly just right-leaning conservative people anyway i think joker from better bachelor is actually probably the best person to listen to like to listen to because honestly i feel like he he's the only one i feel like that actually cares you know about you know the little guy and really about the guy that no one cares about i i, I feel like he's really the only person like who who's like you know right leaning or like in that red pill community which he's he says he's not even in anymore that actually kind of cares about you know guys like me guys like you probably if i get if you're one of those guys but like really you know i i can't really give really any solution like you know i i feel like you know nowadays people are trying to you know, you know they're trying to just come up with just random solutions being out like Acting as if it's a you know simple answer. Oh, you know, just go to the gym, like work out, do all this stuff, and uh, and the thing is, you know, that's not bad. But it's also like, okay, but what if you're not that kind of guy? Like, like you know, what if you're not the type of guy that you know goes to clubs, that goes to bars? Me personally, I don't like doing that. So, and you know, yeah, that's gonna make things harder. But I'm not that kind of guy. And like, you know, they, they all, like, you know, all these people are kind of, like, do all this stuff. And it's like, okay, but what if a guy doesn't like doing that stuff? Like, they, they don't bring that up or they, they they don't focus on, you know, the guy that has nobody. I mean, you know, that, you know, d d doesn't even have, like, a guy friend that he could talk to, that he can, uh, that, that could help him. And, you know, to, to be honest, I, I don't have an answer. Because, to, to be honest, I'm a guy nobody cares about. And really, this video is just me. It's me telling all you guys. You know, all you guys out there that nobody cares about. Nobody, nobody cares about, nobody thinks about, nobody gives a crap about. Where, you know, you could go missing and nobody would care. Where you, you could die and it would probably take people like two years to notice that you were even gone you know this video is simply just me being like hey i'm here too i'm with you you know we don't know each other we would probably never even see each other but hey i want you to know i'm here with you i'm i'm right there with you and you know even though 
you all like alone and by yourself and no one cares, you're not entirely alone, if that makes sense at all. And, you know, honestly, maybe the videos of, like, you know, the self-help videos and red pill videos and, like, you know, these conservative right-leaning people videos where, you know, they, they you know, where they, they tell you, hey, this is how, you, you know, you, you will get noticed. This is how, uh, you know, people actually pay attention to you. This is how women will actually pay attention to you. You know what? Maybe they work. Who knows? Frankly, who cares? And honestly, you know, just do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy and do what you like. You know what? You know, let, let's say your hobby is something that, you know, people find boring. That, you know, most people, you know, they find boring and they just don't understand it. Or, you know, let, let's say your hobby is something that, you know, women don't like. You know, women don't like women, uh, like, find it unattractive and... Honestly, who cares? Like, like, literally right now, like, you know, right now I'm making a video. Right now I'm making a video. And, you know, to be honest, most people won't care about that. Most people will think it's ridiculous. People will think it's childish. And, you know, especially, since, you know, I make videos about video games. And, honestly, I don't care. Like, I, I don't care what they think anymore. Because, you know, I'm doing it because I like it. I'm, you know, I'm doing it because I like it. It makes me happy. And something I enjoy. Frankly, I don't care that other people don't give a crap about it. You know, I, I don't care that, like, you know, I, I don't care that, you know, a, a woman might see me making a video about a video game and think, oh, man, that's, like, uh, very unattractive. He's such a loser. Okay, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. Because, you know what? Because, you, you, you know, the truth is, those people, they didn't care, they, they didn't give a crap about you anyways. So just, you know, focus on what you like. Do the things you like. Do what makes you happy. And, you know, just know that, you know, you, you are not alone. There are a thousand guys out there that nobody cares about. That nobody notices. Nobody cares about. That, you know, nobody will know their name. Nobody will care what, who, who they were. But, you know, just, just know... You are not by yourself. You have, you know, the, the other guys out there. And, you know, you might never find them. You know, you might never find them, might never talk with them. But, you know, those guys are out there. It's not just you. So, that that's frankly just all this video was. I just wanted to talk about it and just get it out there. I don't really think I'm going to make another video like this. I'm probably going to go back to talk about video games and nerdy stuff and all that. I know the Flash movie just came out, which I might make a video about. I don't really know, because frankly, I don't give a crap about the Flash movie. And I don't know. Frankly, I would have preferred the Batgirl movie over the Flash movie, since I really despise Ezra Miller. Especially since that man's a full-on criminal. But I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make a video about that movie and all that. I'm working on a video right now. Uh... Frank, I'm just going to say what it is. It's a video about Dead Island 2. I was originally not going to make the video, but then I was like, but you know, it, it just stayed in my mind. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to make the video anyway. And like, so ba basically right now I'm suffering through Dead Island 2 because I, I don't like that game. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. I want to make the video about the game. And ba basically the video is just me comparing Dead Island 2 to the first one. Basically. So, yeah, I'm making that video, even though I don't really want to, but... But, like, you know, e either way, to end this off, you know, to the guy that nobody cares about. You know, the guy that is invisible. The guy that nobody knows your name. The guy that, you know, when people see you, they just walk right past you. You know, the guy that, you know... The guy, when people do notice you, they go, hey, what's, his, what's that guy's name? And then they go, oh, I don't know, who cares? You know, the, the guy that women don't care about. The guy that, uh, by women, uh, don't even look at. The guy who has never kissed a girl, who never had a girlfriend. You know what? You're not alone. You're not alone. If it will feel like you're alone, and, you know, this is coming from a guy on the internet that you will never see, never meet, and will most likely never be friends with. But, hey, I'm, I'm, with, I'm right there with you. And, you know what? You know, 
all the advice that you know people on the internet give really the only one i really the only one i can give and the only one that really works for me at least is you know you get up you take a breath and you just go just another day just another day just make it through either way i hope you guys all have a good day and i'll be seeing you all next time